Hi guys, my name is Nasrin and in today's video, I'm happy to be here for presenting this concept, IEEE Publication Recommender. So without any delay, I want to start it. Okay, first of all, about IEEE Publisher. What does, stand, what does it stand for? It stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. So, in a first glance, we can understand what are the main concepts in this publisher. Anyhow, for a better understanding about this publisher, you know, the professional home for the engineering and technology community worldwide at ACE. So, if you want to know that about the kinds of different uh, fields that it support are electronical engineering, computing, biotechnology, telecommunications, power and energy, and several other fields related to these main concepts. All right. What are the IEEE publication types? What are the types that it publish, uh, support in uh, this publish, uh, publication? First of all, different journals. Second, magazines. Third, conference. And the last one is book. So, four different kinds of uh, I mean, that level is supported by IEEE. Anyhow, if we want to know that how does IEEE publication recommender work, it would be good for an example to start with this website. It is our ultimate aim in this video. So, if you go to the uh, Google and uh, type IEEE Publication Recommender, then you can face with the first uh, item. And after you click, you can see this web page of IEEE Publication Recommender. You know, with this tool, you can find several variety of uh, journals, conferences, and different things in IEEE publications. Anyhow, how can we work with this tool? First of all, you can see that it has several parts and items that help us to find the best uh, journals or maybe conference for our uh, research, uh, research manuscript or paper. So, for, first of all, we can use uh, uh, and define publication recommender type. First of all, both periodicals and conferences or periodicals only. And last, conferences only. So I want to start with the first one. I want to see what are the best uh, one, uh, such as different uh, journals and also conferences, both of them, I mean that. It means that for periodicals, it means several kinds of journals. It would be monthly, yearly, seasonally, or different, uh, I mean, related to the time. Anyhow. For inter keywords, key phrases, or article title, you can do some things uh, for these kinds of uh, items that is right here. So I want to write my keywords of my paper. For example, I copy and paste here, such as uh, clustering algorithm. You can see different topics related to this. Uh, a keyword, and then I want to write that, for example, added genetic algorithm, or maybe other things such as precipitation for my keywords. And last, I want to add, for example, fitness function. Okay, so also, I want to add another thing for climate change. So these are all the keywords. I can also add the article title, but I prefer to write the uh, keywords only. Anyhow, another options here, if you don't like to assign this section, you can check the 
extract keyword from your article button here and click this one. When you select this one, you can see that it would be deactivate. So by click this uh, icon here, you can enter your abstract or drag the file uh, that you want, that you put it before as the uh, abstract or I mean the keywords of your paper. So for add your file, you can add it or maybe drag it. I put it here and add the, uh, I mean the, the abstract. Anyhow, another um, good option maybe is narrow by date. You can assign a time, your ultimate time to publish before. It means that uh, you can select a time if you want to see what are the conferences would be happening, uh, will be, would be happening in the future, near future, or maybe in the past. But I don't want to select this one. Anyhow, you can click get recommendations. It needs time to file upload here. And after upload, you can see that uh, different kinds of paper uh, journals of IEEE. Uh, in this uh, part, you can see a table that is that you can see open access availability. You can find uh, my video that I published before about open access and subscriptions, and you can find the differences. And you can see the impact factor of each journals. For example, here for geoscience and remote sensing IEEE transactions, you can see that it is 8.1. And also submission to publication time. You can see that for this journal, it takes time around 6.6 .6 weeks. So anyhow, and other things that you can see here is related to conferences which are relevant to your paper, and maybe some of them are uh, would be a, a, a near upcoming conference. It would be a good option to you to understand what's happened uh, for the future, and uh, you can try your paper for that conferences. And other things is here. There are two other options. If you want to download this uh, table, you can send email results to your email or any email that you want or download the results. And you can see that with clicking download result, uh, that these uh, files would be uh, transferred to, as an Excel file and you have saved it to see the result if you want to check it then. So it takes any, uh, more time to download the Excel file since it is not really important. I skip it. Okay, at the end, uh, now at this moment, uh, we review all the up, uh, icons and concept about IEEE publication recommender. And what are the other concepts if you want to know that? There are also other concepts such as Wiley and Taylor and Atscopus. If you want to know all the things, please watch the next video. At the end, please subscribe to our channel, uh, YouTube channel with this address. Uh, please don't forget to share it and like it, thumbs up, press it, and put your comments and questions below the video. Uh, below the video would give me more energy to put more videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. See you next video. Bye.